Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathlog, and this uh, easy lesson is uh, on subtracting whole numbers. So it's the inverse operation of addition of whole numbers. So our common core is uh, we're going to use place value knowledge and properties of operation uh, to perform multi-digit uh, addition and subtraction. So how can we uh, subtract whole numbers, okay? So um, uh, here's an example. Mount Shasta is a beautiful mountain when you're driving up in Northern California. It's up above Redding quite a bit. Way up in Northern California, Mount Shasta is uh, 14,180 feet tall, and Mount Lassen is another big mountain in California, is 10,463 feet tall. How much taller is Mount Shasta than Mount Lassen? So what's going to happen is is uh, we're going to um, do some subtraction, you guys. So how much taller is this mountain than this mountain? Where well, we're going to subtract. So let's estimate, you guys. Let's let's round this uh, estimate. Uh, 14,000. 180 is closest to 14,000, not 15,000. And 10,463, is it closer to 10,000 or is it closer to 11,000? This is a little bit closer to 10,000. So if we estimated and we subtracted 14,000 minus 10,000 is 4,000. So we're going to get an answer that's around 4,000. So let's go ahead and subtract 14,180 uh, minus 10,463. So here we go. We're going to subtract the ones right here. Now can you see I cannot do 0 minus uh, 3. So I have to regroup from the uh, I'm going to regroup and subtract the tens. So this eight tens right here and zero ones, I'm going to take off one of the tens and make it seven tens, and I'm going to add that ten to the zero. So the zero becomes uh, ten ones right here instead of zero ones. Okay, so now I can go ahead and subtract ten minus three right there. All right, and I went ahead and subtracted 7 minus 6. Okay, so 7 minus 6 is 1, and 10 minus 3 is 7 right there. Okay, so I think I brought it up here. Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we're going to subtract the hundreds. Okay, so here again, I'm going to go 100 minus 400, and I can't do that, so I'm going to regroup from the hundreds right there. And what I'm going to do is make um, uh, this uh, 4,000 and 100 right here. I'm going to borrow from the 4,000 and make it a 3,000 and change this 100. I'm going to add um, um, uh, a, a, a thousand right there, so it becomes 1,100 right there. Okay, so this becomes um, uh, this becomes 3,000 and this becomes 1,100. So now I can go ahead and subtract 1,100 minus 400 right there. Okay, 11 minus 4 is now 7. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is subtract uh, the thousands now, okay? Now this uh, thousand is now 3,000. 3,000 minus 0,000 is just 3,000. I can go ahead and subtract those. And then, uh, so I don't have any more. Uh, these. This would just be zero right here. So Mount Shasta is how much taller than Mount Lassen? Well, it's right here, 3,717. That's what goes right there. And since 3,717 is close to our estimate, what was our estimate? Our estimate was 4,000, and the answer is reasonable, okay? So just go ahead and plug all that in. Mount Shasta is uh, 3,717 feet taller than Mount Lassen. And since that's closest to a uh, close estimate of 4,000, then it's a reasonable answer, okay? All right, so an inverse operation is to undo uh, each other. So addition and subtraction are actually inverse operations. Later on, you'll learn that uh, multiplication and division are inverse operations of each other. Okay, so we can use addition uh, to subtract uh, to check our subtraction problem. So what I'm going to do is is uh, do the inverse. So when I subtract it, it's hard to see in here, 14,180, and I subtracted 10,463, I got 3,717. If I take these two numbers right here and added them, it should get me um, uh, 14,180, okay? And I think I color-coded that. So here we go. I'm going to go, uh, well, you'll see the whole answer right here. I'll talk us through it right here. Okay, so 7 plus 3 is 10, so I carried the 10 up here. Okay, above in the tens column, and then uh, ten or uh, one plus six is seven. Seven plus one is eight. So there's my eight right there. All right, four plus seven is eleven. All right, so there's the eleven right there, and I carried uh, the the one from the eleven up here. So one plus three is four, and then finally one plus zero. So fourteen thousand one hundred eighty, and that's what we had right here. Fourteen thousand one hundred eighty. So we can use that to check right there. All right, let's try one more, you guys. Let's subtract 748,260 
uh, minus 52,743. Okay, so here we go. We're going to line them up. So we're going to go ahead and subtract the ones. Okay, so I've got to regroup. I can't do 0 minus 3. So I'm going to regroup uh, to subtract the ones. And then, and then so here's 6 tens, 0 ones. I'm going to change this to 5 tens and 10 ones right there. Okay, so I stole a 10 from this 6 and put it over here with this 0 right here. So now it becomes 10 minus 3. So now I can do 10 minus 3 is 7. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract the tens now. So now it's 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is 1 right there. All right. So now let's subtract the hundreds. Okay, I've got to regroup again. So 2 minus 7, I can't do it. So I'm going to uh, borrow from this 8 right here. And then so uh, 8,000 is 200. Here's my 8,000 is 200. So I'm going to borrow from this 8,000 and make it a 7,000. And instead of 200 now, it's going to be 1,200 now. I'm going, to, I'm going to add a 1 with the 2 and it becomes 1,200. Okay, so 7,200. Now I can do 1,200s minus 700s is going to get me um, 500 right there. See, 12 minus 7 is 5. See how I color-coded this? And, and my students are telling me this is orange. To me, it looks kind of goldy, but whatever. Um, I'm, I'm getting old, so I don't know. So to me, it still looks gold, but they're saying this is orange. Okay, so 1,200 minus 700 is 500. Okay, so... Now we're going to subtract the thousands. So 7,000 minus 2,000 is a nice 5,000. Nice and easy right there. Okay, now we're going to subtract the 10,000s. Okay, so here i got to borrow again. So um, 4 10,000s uh, minus 5 10,000s right there. So I'm going to change this uh, 100,000, 700,000, 4 10,000 right there. I'm going to change it to 600,000 uh, and change this Four uh, ten thousand to fourteen ten thousand. So I wrote it right up there. Now I can do fourteen ten thousand minus five ten thousand right there, and that's going to get me nine ten thousands. Okay, and then now I can go ahead and subtract um, the hundred thousands right there. So there's a zero right there. So six hundred thousand minus uh, zero hundred thousand is just six hundred thousand, and there you go. Okay, so the answer is going to be six hundred ninety five thousand five hundred seventeen okay can you guys do that can you borrow from the next column to the left when it's uh, uh the number is bigger on the bottom so this says explain how you know which uh place values to regroup and subtract well um, uh, that's easy enough if if the digit being subtracted is greater than the digit from which you are subtracting from then you have to regroup from the digit to its left okay does that make sense you guys i hope so all right, and if you guys are finding these videos are helpful, then I'd like it if you'd click like. And if they're not helpful, please click dislike. And, and if you want to, subscribe and take care, you guys.